Well, good morning, everybody. So, Wednesday it is. We're, we're headed right on into the weekend again. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've got some new subscribers. I've seen my thing come up this morning, my subscriber list. Anyhow, check this out. I've got some articles to bring, bring some wins out, and just I want everybody to have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. It's Wednesday. I like these kind of days. I don't know. Some people hate Wednesdays, but I, I, I embrace this. I'm just glad to be here and really, really, really appreciate all you guys just supporting this channel and getting these videos out. Making that narrative, yeah. <laughs> All right, get out of here. We're going to run here. Oh, here, 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 here you go. What's up, everybody? All right, here we are. Let's get to this. Uh, this is, you know, I'm going to tie this all together in a second here, so stick with me. Trump endorsed uh, endorsed uh, Republican Mary Miller has won her, her uh, primary in Illinois. Okay. All right. Okay. Lauren Boebert. She's won her primary in Colorado. So that Lauren Boebert energy. Um, my my state, Ted Bud, just all over the place. You're seeing all these wins by, you know, and then you've got Georgia. <laughs> I mean, thank goodness this happened in Colorado because Colorado is getting pretty rough. So, whoo, that was pretty good. But that's that's two good wins. That's that that's some more under the belt. I just don't understand what happened in Georgia. Somebody, anybody, I don't know. But we'll figure it out. We're going to work through this. So, Courtney Kardashian's husband. I don't really talk a lot about this, but this covers a subject that I'm sort of sensitive to because I don't know what all that... When, they, when I do this here, we're talking about the stuff that they, you know, the Fauci sauce. All right. Well, I've, been, I've known this somewhat right from the get-go, and we're seeing a lot of people, which, to be honest with you, Blink-182 might have been okay like 1996 and they had what one song that, that they came out with that everybody still sings and uh you know all right so travis barker still riding that he had uh he had something that happened just out of nowhere let's read a little bit right quick here that's him on a stretcher right there of course and at one time he got in a real bad plane wreck too and he got all mashed up travis barker the husband of courtney kardashian was rushed to the hospital in los angeles uh on, on an ambulance Tuesday for suffering from an unknown medical issue. Barker and Courtney first showed up at, I'm not, the only reason why I laugh when I say this is because they're, they're all, they have all bought into this Fauci sauce. And we're seeing them just drop off left and right. And there is no explanation. But, by the way, I don't know if I said it before, but I'm tired, y'all. So if I look tired, I am. It's been a long week already, but we're good. Um, there's, uh, there's still information on what Travis's medical issue is or what brought him to the hospital, but I'll let you figure it out. It says, look right here. His face is all numb and he can't move half of it. Probably. I don't know. Let's see. He's 46. He's a Blink-182 drummer. Um, then why she followed on foot? She ran behind the ambulance, I guess. A musician was seen wheeled out on the ambulance while holding his right hand up, which showed his unmistakable skull tattoo. Kardashian for her part was seen only from the back can we can we get our mind off other stuff you know anyways <laughs> she was in all black ensemble and had her hoodie up over her head could have been trayvon martin maybe that's what happened anyways uh do, 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 do. what's this right here what is this what is this here oh okay here here you go a little eye age for the day so this this is over right here this picture is but of course this is um some kind of ufc thing for women or for for women for for females or birthing people i don't know but this doesn't this wasn't right at all but the article really is just touching the whole thing touching i don't want to get into that uh with the economy collapsing and the border wide open democrats unveiled transgender bill of rights this is what they're trying to do here and part of that oh they're gonna you know it's kind of gonna go with the civil rights act of 64 but what they want to do is make it where it's not exactly what you would call it's like illegal to do conversion therapy 
so and by the way don't get it twisted conversion therapy where you would think it would be like when you're trying to convert somebody into transgenderism no conversion therapy in their eyes is when somebody wants to go take hormone blockers and put on women's clothes and dance around in the public street in front of kids if you try to convince them otherwise you could be held liable be and that could be illegal so that means and, and they want to do this for kids um it doesn't make any sense though because there's so many things that kids can't do yet that because of the fact that they're age restricted they're they, you, they can't even sign for a loan if like if, if they're going to allow kids to make the decision to start messing up their gender because of something they seen on tv or something that they thought they wanted to try which is permanent by the way uh you might as well let them have the right to sign their own uh loans to get loans so they can buy stuff credit cards you know just go ahead and give them the everything get them a driver's license when they turn seven months old and um because when you turn seven that's when you start gaining motor skills but i'm not a biologist i don't know so we need to be more worried about what's happening with our economy which i mean to be honest with you we all know why it's not being brought up because you can't fail that accidentally it's like everybody knows that it's not an accident what's happening with the economy it's part of that whole thing where they're trying to run with uh that great reset and this is all an inversion of reality they want to do this because this is part of that great reset and by the way another inversion of reality this is supposed to be a us ufc competition where everybody's like you know physical fitness and uh it's supposed to be your like you know you're, you're like hey yeah we're physically fit we can fight we got stamina what's up with this dude I think what's up with that <laughs> I guess they they he missed the memo I don't know anyhow oh, we're gonna get some more news articles out today we've got to get to work got a lot of stuff to do thank you very much lots of love guys they control we're gonna get out